Well, you think of the caricature of Einstein as this absent-minded professor who speaks with a German accent and forgot to put socks on, though it's winter in Princeton and his hair is a mess. But um, the reason that Einstein has the reputation that he does is he is one of the few people in the history of science who had who arrived at the right time and had the skills to just sit down and think about things and come up with a solution to a problem or a prediction that if we go measure something, we'd find out something new about the universe. He was a wonderfully human person in many ways, but he always kept things in perspective. For example, go to the National Academy in Washington, D.C. There's a nice statue to Einstein there sitting, reading a book. And kids are often perched on his knee getting their picture taken. But you walk around behind the statue and he has a profound insight that sets science off from much of the rest of human endeavor. It goes something like this. He says, if you've done some science and you've established a basis of information in favor of your position, your hypothesis, your theory, you must also tell everything that's against your theory. You can't just tell what's good for you. You've got to tell the whole story. Einstein was not afraid to make mistakes. Um, Einstein really understood the, the science that he did and, and the life of a scientist. Now, one of my favorite quotes from his is, if we knew what we were doing, it wouldn't be called research. And that really has a big impact on me. Well, Albert Einstein was born in the city of Ulm. It's the same town where I come from, where I'm a professor of theoretical physics. Einstein was a role model for all of us students in high school, uh, a role model in physics. He certainly was the big theorist, or the big physicist, the big thinker in this community. Well, Einstein had his hand in a lot of different areas of physics, not just one area. He applied himself to abstract problems and, uh, and problems of the, of the past, present, and future, and, uh, and he was a symbol for the highest level of scientific uh, insight that a person could achieve. Einstein is actually credited um, in many ways as being one of the, the founders of quantum mechanics. And that's one of the great theories that still has held up over the last 75 years. Einstein, to our field, is more than just the founder. He's the fountainhead. Our field is quantum optics, photonics. Einstein was the first to realize and show in a very specific way that light consists of tiny particles which have wave-like behavior. His insight, wave-particle duality, is what in some sense defines our field. And that's to me the epitome of, of the science that Einstein did. This complete um, lack of fear of going after the most important and pressing issues um, in science, in, in, in who we are as people in the universe around us. One of the most famous quotes attributed to Einstein, actually he said it in 1921 on a visit to Princeton. In German it's, Raffiniert ist der Herrgott, aber boshaft ist er nicht. Subtle is the Lord, but malicious he is not. So science can be complicated, it's our job to figure it out, in order to do so requires insight and subtlety, but he, he, the God didn't make the universe so difficult just to be me. Einstein certainly was the most famous physicist uh, in the 20th century. I mean, he had uh, an enormous influence in the way that we were thinking in the 20th century, and of course, what we're going to think in the 21st century. We will always be influenced by him. Einstein has had a huge impact on my life um, in, in terms of the way he thought about science. He really, it was very important to him to not be um, caught up in the group think, how we're supposed to think about science, how everybody agrees how it is. 
So everything that Einstein has done has been uh, something that affects us in one way or another. Herr Professor Fröhlicher Geburtstag, which is to say, dear Professor, happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Professor Einstein. Happy birthday, and thank you for what you've done for our field. Herr Professor, herzlichen Glückwunsch zum Geburtstag. Herr Dr. Professor Einstein, happy birthday.